guys, welcome to game 3 of the uh, Bag of Holding Spring Kits tournament held on uh, the 29th of May? 30th of May. Um, I'm joined once again by Ryan. Hi guys. And you can actually see here, Ryan on the right and myself on the left. Now immediately I'm going to apologise for the camera angle, it's ever so slightly off centre which does annoy the hell out of me. <laughs> does look slightly wonky. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, uh, obviously you're play once I've been playing against Targ, Lord of the Crossing, and I am playing um, Stark Fealty. Uh, I actually mulliganed into this hand, so uh, not the best, not the worst starting hand, but not the best starting hand. No, nope, but you have got the guy there that sort of uh, keeps you in the game the whole time, really, Eddard. Oh, I love Fast Eddie. So good, Fast Eddie. <laughs> he is. Seeing him on setup is very nice. Just to kill, speed you up so yeah. much. Yeah, you <laughs> Your setup's not too bad either. Oh no, my, my, I was quite happy with mine at that point. Now, it's actually one of the things I'm sort of worried about. Now, obviously, first edition players probably will laugh at me for being worried about this, but you know, you've got like a uh, the new river run in the next cycle. So when a Tully character gains a power, they can gain another power from my kneeling it. Yep. It just seems like with Fast Eddie, the Blackfish, that the Winter and the Minstrels, um, we're going to see a lot of power coming very fast, very very quickly. Yeah. So um, the one thing that these rush decks are weak to, obviously, is reset. So we're going to need Valor if the rush gets too prevalent, really. Yeah. So I have got I put, went for noble cause and uh, you put me to go first. Um, any reason you went for intrigue on calm? Because I had the military soak and I've got no intrigue icons I think and you've got Caitlin uh, not Caitlin Sansa there with uh, full strength intrigue. Probably not going to bother defending that if I want to get all three challenges through with crossing. So I've got Rob out and put. Uh, um, that lady or uh, no? That's Nymeria. Okay. So and intimidate. We'll, yep, and we've also got Brandon out. No, Brand, pretty, Brandon. Pretty nice start, I'd say. Got Rob out as well. Now it's one of the one of the weird concepts I've had to get used to. Stark is the because uh, I don't have many chuds in the deck because I run so many in, um, unique characters. Yeah. Not that that's a, a problem in some respects, <laughs> but. Um, no, Sometimes since, since, the, since the deluxe box came out, you can afford to do that with Stark. You've got enough yeah. uniques now, you can run one of a lot of them. And I have to get used to the idea that, yeah, it's fine with Santa dies. So you've got Syria out now. I think he's um, going to be a slight pain for me. Yeah. At this stage, and. Always nice to see him when you've got Drogo out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Two stealth uh, militaries every turn. Yeah. <laughs> And I think, yeah, as I say, I'm pretty sure you paid out a dragon. And that's it. Six two. two. Oh, and a hand maiden. Okay. So this to me um, relieved me a little bit. So immediately thought, great, he can't Jakaris me this turn. I mean, I had Brown anyway, but I didn't really want to lose. Yeah. So claim sake. And you'll see that's a running theme throughout. I think <laughs> the deciding factor in this game really is uh, the lack of events I saw. Yeah. So and um, I think I start off over slightly. Um, yeah. So. I think I go for a slightly unorthodox idea here, which is I go. Uh, I actually end up going power with. Um, oh no, I do intrigue. Intrigue first, yeah. Just go, go then. Yeah, go then. No claim. But the power, and then I actually go power. I'm pretty sure I go power challenge next. Yeah, this is to get the intimidate. I figure. But obviously I don't, and I don't, I don't use Eddard. All oh, right, yeah. So you get the last one, yeah. and then I nope, switch it over. Switch it over with uh, with uh, um, Ariane, whatever. It was, get the gift thingy. Oh, yes, gift. Oh, yeah. gift. That's the one. Um, I actually, I actually included that in there as my protection against milk, and yes. I've never actually used it for that. <laughs> it's um, a lot of phases. Yeah, I was pretty sure it did. Yeah, it's just been one of those. Um, and then I just go, I just go. Sorry, I must go military because you're going to stealth through me anyway. 
So yeah, I think it's unopposed. Yeah, unopposed. I might as well get unopposed. Get get the power. Uh, get the renowned and kill a chud. Why not? Yeah. Because standing there is not going to do anything. So I think this is quite annoying here because obviously I can't do a military first because it stands your whole board, and I can't do an intrigue first because the handmaiden's on zero strength. <laughs> it's it's one of the things I, lo- I, I, I when I vote play against Rob, it is so annoying. Basically, having military challenges is almost pointless if the, if there's a large board on the Stark side. Yeah. Cause well, seeing, seeing the board you had, I, I think it had to be quite aggressive here because you've got four decent characters out, right? If I can win mm-hmm. those two challenges and force you to kill two. So, five, what's that? Five power. <laughs> so, I'm trying to think what you, remember what you do here. I guess you go power of one? With uh, Viserion, yeah. Oh, no, you definitely did. You definitely did. I think you do do two military. No, you do what? Oh, no, I think yeah. I think you get power and then. Um... Oh no. What do you? I think I do pa- No. You oh, I think I did that. Yeah, must have done that wrong there. I should have gone power with Syrian. Done the one military with Syria and the one intrigue with um, the handmaiden, so I could stealth past. And um, what's she called? Also, Sansa. even if Sansa's standing at that point, you would have killed someone. So Sansa only be strength free. Yeah. Who's trying to kill? Well, trying to decide who to kill. Yeah, because yeah. I think if, if it wasn't Targ, I probably would have gone for Bran at this point. Yeah. But because you, uh, Jacaris is a thing, I think I and uh, yeah, I think I actually did get to kill Bran and then. <laughs> yeah, really can't decide. <laughs> yeah, I, I went for Sansa just because obviously. Um, um, yeah, because Jacaris is a thing. No, sorry. Yeah. No? Oh, okay. Change the line. Oh, I'm being I'm being brave. So I think what I do here is stealth stealth entry and then pass. I believe you do. Yes. No point doing a military. It gives you more renown. I actually I think so. The, I think the thing about it, I think the reason I went for um, Bran is because I got Lady in my hand and I was going to make Rob strength four, no uh, strength six. So that Jacaris is less of an issue. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, intrigue, stealth, unopposed. All right, go on, man. <laughs> Just don't take lady. Yeah, so Should have done the power challenge first there with Syrian. And that way I would have gained an extra free power. Yep. Which might have actually won me the game. Thinking about it. Um, it's twelve power in. It would definitely slow me down at the end as well. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. See, and that's why the great, the great thing about we're watching these games, exactly, you, yeah. you can scream at yourself, going, "Why did I do that?" Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, one of the other videos was one of the Netrunner videos. After about, I think we'd done six rounds, and by round six, I'd, I'd, I'd won the tournament anyway, and I could just see myself just not caring. You're <laughs> like, "Yeah, whatever. Yeah. I'll do this." So you go march, and I go trading. So yeah. Figure, get rid of Handmaiden, you get rid of a fairly decent character. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm loving you, Sansa. I didn't initially. She's um, she's one of those characters I've really come round to. Yeah. Um, I think it's just my head. I'm like, but I get so many. Pa- I get so much. Um, I get so much renowned for. Uh, I'm just pointing out you've got your free gold. Um, I get so much renown for just standing her, for just doing her job. <laughs> but um, no, she's that 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 strength. Once she once she gets uh, what's her name the. Um, Oh, Ringo did a name. The one who makes her strength, gives her renowned and strength, uh, plus his oh, strength. Oh, um, Septimordain. Septimordain, yeah. Once you got her out, you got Winterfell out. She is just a beast. <laughs> yeah. For two gold. <laughs> Probably one gold because she's loyal. Yeah. So, seven gold. What are you going to play out here? Three more gold than you're expecting to get, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, um, I don't think I spend all the gold here. I can't remember what I played out with him. I said no, I normal players to do this on when well, I went to find out. Well, do you not? End, I think you end up duping both of them, right? And it's really annoying because I can't. <laughs> uh, I think Rob definitely gets a dupe. Yeah. Rob is just—it's one of the things I worry about. This new, the new Rob when he comes out is I just can't see him seeing play at the moment because 
the current mob is just so good. Yeah, the new one's, what, plus one strength for each loyal card, and then you can force someone to defend? Uh, I think you can force a character out of the challenge. Out of the challenge, that's it. Yeah. yeah. So you do spend... Oh, you spend most of your No, you spend all of it. Okay, yeah. So you've got the Unsullied, yeah, Jura, and Tornigam, which is not a bad turn. No. And I bring main Syria out. Oh, he was a nuisance. <laughs> <laughs> he always is. Uh, yeah, guess it to Mordane, which would have been really good if um, Sansa was still out. Yeah. And then, yeah, Lady to make Rob undercarousable. Well, not undercarousable, but you know what I mean. Uh, he won't. If you get. If you unsullied, for instance, go in, you can't just. Um, he won't die. Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah. So I guess I'll start with the military here, just because your whole board's standing anyway. You're not going to be standing many with Rob. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure you do do both militaries, and I yeah end up killing what probably Scepter and Syria. I think you do kill both of them. Yes. Yeah. Pretty sure. Um, if I remember correctly, my challenge mass went a little bit off because of crossing for the um, second military. Yeah. Which wasn't crippling. I thought it was going. To, it, I thought it was going to cripple me, but it didn't quite cripple. Um, yeah, I think it was working out his strength. Yeah, he's on plus four at this point. Uh, no, um, no, Mira doesn't uh, doesn't increase strength. I, I keep thinking, if, Lady and uh, Needle, you've got there. Yeah, and and it's actually quite often. Pretty much everyone thinks. Everyone on gets thinks that Mira does actually up your strength, which would make her really, really good if she did. <laughs> have inti- have plus two strength and intimidate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, and yeah, and no, no Mira, I'd, I'd actually played a game in front of Joel. Yes, uh, the day before this with um, using Nymeria, and he he kind of points out I wasn't using her as effective as I could do, and I. I think I, this week, this tournament, I I took a lot of the lessons on board. Yeah, keeping that one goal there, so you can uh, do it, yeah. do it twice. Jump around and yeah, and uh, you know, I'll do this challenge. Nymeria's if you don't, if you want to defend it, stop Nymeria. And Nymeria's not involved. Brilliant. Oh, <laughs> you nailed out anyway. Yeah. So. So you're just trying to work out how to get these militaries through. Because this is the great thing, you can over-defend and then kill one person and they all stand up again. Yep. Yeah, Rob, he's just so... He is so good. Yeah, I think Rob, Rob and Eddard on turn one are just so nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fast, Eddie. And uh, so <laughs> no, it's taking a while, but this is a very, very important challenge, folks. If you do it that way, yeah, there was definitely a way to get both militaries through, and just trying to work it out. Um, I'm pretty sure you do, as yeah. I said, but it's um, I have a feeling I overcommit to the first one, knowing I'll stand, and then. The second one, I kind of just chump, chump block it with Syria. Yeah. And the other problem you've got, I guess, is that if you don't, if if you don't kind of, I wouldn't say overcommit, but there's obviously a, there's a good chance of coming back. Anything defends, I can just um, Namiria out and um, intimidate out anyway if I want to get the extra challenges yeah, through. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you just you shrug. I do remember you shrugging a lot of this one. <laughs> yeah, I kept, kept working out in my head like, yeah, I can do it, and then I go to commit the characters like, hmm, maybe I can't quite do it. So I think this was power, I want to say. Yeah. Yeah, that was a power challenge, which was quite surprised. I guess you're just trying to get Ed. You're just trying to get me to nail out Ed or Rob. Yeah, that was probably a mistake. And then, because you what you would have given Rob stealth at this point, so yeah, Rob's got stealth. Yeah, I should have waited to do the power later. 
<laughs> oh, pluses and minuses so, so and uh, there we go. So yes, that, that's it because you were, you worked out how much military strength I had, and you kept you kept going. But no, I'm only picking eighteen. I went yeah, but I'm minus one. Yeah. So I that's right. I don't put Syria in this partly because I wouldn't make a difference anyway, but also because I I didn't think I I forgot he stood um, because of Rob's ability. Yeah. So. Yeah, and then yeah, now you've got enough that you win this. You win this one by stealthing Eddard, because you're because of the plus two. I can't stop it. Yeah. So your Sirio ends up stabbing my Sirio in the chest. <laughs> um, okay. I don't know. What I'm thinking about this one. Oh, oh no, I'm thinking about this one so much. I don't want to make a mistake. So I'm like, yeah, go on then. And I think I'm pretty sure I think about this for about two seconds, and then just chuck both these two in on a power challenge. Yeah, no point doing military is there at this point. No, go, you, go for the rush. You've got a big enough board, and I lose out on a power. The, well, I guess I don't lose out on power, so we've been unopposed. Just so much in that one challenge. It's crazy. <laughs> it's... I'm at one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, two. Rob gives me t- uh, get one for Rob. Two for Eddard. Yeah, one for an opposed and one for Clay. Five power. Um, yeah. I then I get dominance. Is there because I have one gold left? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm pretty sure I'm just going for the high, the highest initiative plot I have left. Yeah. Which actually, I, that's actually one of the problems I have with this day. Most of the initiatives aren't very high. Um, no. I guess you're just, you just trying to go for the two claim. But it's more to get rid of a power off your house, really. To okay. slow you down. And then hope that I can defend. But I didn't really draw many power icons, I don't think. Yeah, there you go. Get the dupe on Rob. Yeah. The, uh, the blackfish is about to make a fleeting appearance. <laughs> <laughs> so if you hadn't managed to play him, I think I would have probably put the crown on one of the other two. Hmm. And being able to win the power challenge on defense? I think I had another character in the hand who also had okay. a um, power icon, but I went for um, the blackfish because he was that stronger. He was. I think. It, I think I had a. Um, uh, what's it? Um, the knight. Anything else? Yeah, Tumblestone knight. And I think. I think that just gave me enough because you haven't got many. Unfortunately, for yourself, you don't have that many power icons out. No, I've only really got. Drogo and the dragon, right? Uh, oh, and the Unsullied now. So yeah. yeah, but obviously their minus one doesn't not work. Not particularly high strength, so... No. Yeah. And that's... Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. So that was game. And, um, yeah. Quick plan. Didn't even need the crane. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> We're not there now. Good luck, fast, Eddie. Yeah. 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 That game was over when... Well, I didn't see any, didn't see any direct kill, really. Any, any of the puts the swords, any of the Jacaris or Miri... Would no, different. And as, as I say, it might have made a difference with um, how I played out, I guess. But I was always, once you had no gold there, I wasn't that worried about yeah. about Jakaris. Um And the other ones we talked about afterwards was, was I was surprised you didn't just kneel the tawny ground as your first action, just as yeah, a. Yeah, I should have. You know, just to, yeah. just to bluff it. Yeah. Because um, if you had done that, I probably would have played very, tried to play around it. Yeah. But um, anyway, we'll see. Thanks, guys, for watching. Ryan, thanks for coming on and commentating on the games. You're welcome. And um, good luck at the regionals. Yeah, thank you.